And now it's time to start the conversation. I am delighted to welcome Artwick Michels, President of Petrochemicals at the ASF and the EPCA presidents. It is absolutely clear to all of us that our industry has to reinvent itself to live up to the claim that we are part of the solution. What will be crucial for this transformation to succeed in the necessary time frame, especially when we see the incredible energy crisis of recent weeks? It's important a little bit to distinguish between the current situation we have in the energy market and uh, what we uh, want to achieve uh, in the context of the uh, uh, Green Deal. And for more than 30 years, I've been amazed of what the chemical industry can do. How are you supporting that transformation and bringing that additional support into the petrochemical supply chain? So we need to really take the broad approach here. And, and our view is, is that we need to decarbonize not only ocean shipping, but we need to decarbonize or find solutions across the whole supply chain. Just so we can get an idea with the momentum that you're seeing, can we speak of an industrial renaissance that's happening in the sector? Can we, can we call it that? Well, I would not say that it's a renaissance, um, but I mean, I think the, the key part, I think, of that whole thing is, I think everyone realizes you need the chemical industry to achieve the Green Deal. Your story of uh, the collaboration with Tesco um, apparently has, uh, has spoken to the imagination and has uh, sounded like an attractive story to quite a few people. And I, I see a question coming about somebody saying, I had no idea that Sabic was involved in this. And I think rather than talking about as if it's something vague and distant future, we're really starting to talk about how we can, can get started now. So it's not shall we do it, but we are going to do it. And, and how are we going to work together to make that happen? Um, I think also, if I think through the last year and a half, um, with COVID and everything else, we've actually shown how important our industry is when it comes to things like hand sanitizers, face masks, the whole clean supply chain. So my key learning, we can count on our people, but we also can count on the ability of our industry to adopt and to change and master the challenges which are ahead of it.